All right, so today we're just going to practice uh, making functions inside of classes that are specific to objects of that class. All right, so we'll make a class. Um, I don't know, we'll call it um, bus, okay? Call it bus. I don't know why, but we're going to call it bus. So there we go. We'll define the initialization, which is two underscores followed by the word initialization and two more underscores after that. Remember, we always need to use self as an argument in any class function. And I just can't think, what would we need for a bus? We might want the name of the bus. Um, we might want the number, like, because you get like an A17. Oh no, that's probably going to be the name, isn't it? Um, the model, I guess. Why not? So we'll have self dot name equals name self dot model equals model. Simple enough. Now we need to define some getter and setter methods. So let's define uh, get underscore name. Oops. We need self as an argument, and we also want oops, to define set underscore name, once again self as the argument. We also actually need new name as an argument there. Sorry, I won't take long, I've just got to get all the names ready. So we'll get the model as well. And again, we just need self because we're getting something. We're not setting anything, so we don't need an argument to set it to. And we do need an argument here other than uh, self because we need self in every function inside of a class. Uh, but we need an argument to set self to. So we'll say new model. Okay. Right. I'm just leaving those empty for now, and I'm going to do them one by one. Just have in there so that I don't have to tab later. Right, so we're just going to say return self.name and this will literally return the current name attribute, right? Setting the name is different. We've got to do self.name equals new name. So in this case, I'm more or less copying this in this sense, right? And get the model, so return, not return, return self dot model. Oops. And here we are going to set self dot model. That's a bit strange. They are all there, but they shouldn't be there. They should be here. Let's just tab that correctly. Don't want any mistakes now, do I? And then we're going to say self dot model is equal to new model. Easy enough, right? I should be able to run that now. And I should make a class of type, uh, an object of class bus or of type bus. Okay. So we're going to say bus1 equals bus. Uh, the name is the A95. And the model is some model, right? And I will say bus2 is equal to bus a17. And we'll say some Moodle. It doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't really matter what these values are. All that matters is that we can use these methods, or these functions on it, right? Now, I'll just go through what these should do. Return self.name should return uh, the name. With the, So the get name function should return a name via return self.name. The set name should set a name. Uh, so a name attribute of a bus object. Get model should return the uh, model value or the value of the model attribute of a bus. And the set model should set the uh, model attribute of a bus to new model. So the argument here. Okay, the set ones have their arguments, right? Right, so let's see if it works and 
Oh, I hope it does. Otherwise, I don't know what I'll do. So, we'll get the name of that. Get the name. Plus one dot set name to be Jehovah. No, definitely not Jehovah. Um, Jenny. What's happened there? Nothing's happened there. We'll say bus one dot get. Um, I don't know, model. Bus one dot set model. So we'll test that all these works. So we'll call it Jenny 77 actually. And the model is a super bus don't know why but it just is right now what we want to do after this is we want to copy and paste i'll just separate that out there so you can kind of see it copy and paste that and we want to get the name and get the model afterwards just to make sure that our setting has worked our setting of these attributes has worked okay so i've run these in now i've got to run this in and make sure there's no errors there has been no errors um except get model and get name didn't really work there did they okay there we are there we are so superbus and jenny really we could probably run these line by line actually i'll run them line by line that's what i should have done so i'll just run these again refresh them We'll run the get name because the get name at this moment should be A95 because I haven't really showed you the change there, have I? So the get name is A95. We set name to 77. Jenny 77. We get the model. The model should be some model. We set the model to Superbus. So now when we get the name, it should be Jenny 77. And when we get the model, it should be Superbus. Okay. This to me seems very lengthy right it seems like i'm going for a lot of effort to do this and i'm going to do it for bus two i'm going to copy and paste all of this for bus two and i'm going to do something different for the next class all right we'll, we'll change the name of bus two to gg and the model to bad bus with the sad face emoji, right? So, change that to plus two for every single one of them. Getting lazy, I'm not copying and pasting, but it's just faster for everyone at home, you know? A17. Well, now we'll set the name to GG. We'll get the model as well, which is some Moodle. There we are, some Moodle. We'll set the model to bad bus with a sad face. Get the name here. GG. So that's confirmed that our set name uh, setter has worked. And we'll get the model to check that the setter for set model has worked. And it is bad bus with a sad face emoji. Great. So all the setters are working. But how can I possibly improve this class? Well, I'm going to show you this. There's advanced ways of doing this. You know, I'll show you the skills of the trade shop. So these setters right here, I'm having to use two setters and I'm having to use two getters every time I want to do something. Why can't I set it all every single attribute and get every single attribute? Well, there's no reason why I can't. In fact, so define set underscore all self. Um, no, sorry, get all. We need a get method first. We just need self, so we'll get all. And in get all, we shall return. Oh dear. We can't return everything actually, just thinking about it. All right, all we've got to do is put two variables. We'll put D and we'll say D is equal to self.name. 
Um, I think string of self but no, might be better. Okay, and then we're going to say that e is equal to string of self dot model. All right, and we're going to say that f is equal to d plus string with a space plus e, and then we're going to return f. Not sure if that'll work. Actually, it's a bit experimental. Wasn't thinking about that there, was I? You know, just blindly acting like uh, I can just do anything. I'm going to set all. And what I need for setting all is a new name and a new model, right? And then I need to use self.name equals new name and self.model equals new model. Right. I don't know if this is going to work, you know, because um, to be honest, I play with classes mainly in Java, but let's have a look. I'm pretty confident it will. Oh dear, I've reset the bus class. That doesn't really matter massively. In fact, it just means I can reuse this. So that's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to do that. Why not? Now then, let's run this. And let's try and use the set all method. So we'll say plus one dot set underscore all. And we want the new name to be diesel. Or should we give it, we'll give it a root name. We'll say B66. And then we'll give the model name diesel, right? Let's hope this works. Seems to have worked. I seem to be right. This uh, logic seems to follow uh, on a suit. So let's see if I can get all. And let's see if get all will give me B66 diesel. So this isn't the best get a method. You know, it should really say, I don't know, the name is and the model is, but it just says B66 diesel, right? Not the best implementation, not proud of it, but it does work. We can see it's separated by by space character there. And so you can see that there's two different distinct values. So it's effective enough for you to understand that they've been set correctly, right? And this way I don't need to use two different setter methods, two different getter methods, right? It doesn't seem, um, it doesn't seem like that much of a breakthrough really. But this is only because we've only got two attributes. Imagine that this class contained 300 attributes. I mean, instead of having to type out 300 separate things, I could type it all out in just one function, for example. And then I wouldn't be saving as much space with the setter methods um, because, yes, I wouldn't have to type this 300 times if we had 300 attributes. Um, but I would have to type... 300 different attribute values, right? But the get all method, instead of using 300 lines of code of get uh, to get all kinds of different separate values, get all would return all 300 attribute values. So that's why I've chosen to uh, do a get all set all method. Now, what I'm going to do is improve this further. So I showed you before that. Basically, this isn't the best implementation. You know, it doesn't show me as what it could as it could show me. Essentially, what um, what the what the uh, values are. I don't know what this represents. I don't know. That could be the model name, and that could just be uh, the 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 name of the actual bus rather than the model name. You know, so I want to know which is which. Okay. So what I can do here is I can put the first string as the name of the bus is and the model of the bus is. And this way, 
I should be able to actually, you know, have a bit more out of this. I don't need this here. Gives it'll give me a bit more information, I think. I'm just going to copy and paste that. So we're going to use exactly the same methods and everything. I'm not sure what's going on there. I am exactly sure what's going on there. Oh, I've got to put an ad there. All right, so let's run that. Just to see, make sure that class is actually uh, running. It allows me to build it. And then let's try all of this again, shall we? Should we try it all a second time? So we'll make our bus object. We'll set it that way. And here, hopefully, we should be able to distinguish. The name of the bus is B66. And the model of the bus is diesel. See that? It's again, it's not the best, but it's a lot clearer now. You know, I can clearly see which attribute is which, and that's that's all I needed. That's all I wanted to implement. Anyway, that was just a quick practice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, uh, when you are practicing, you really should be typing along as I'm typing or trying to. And after any practice, you know, try and make your own classes. Uh, try and make all your own functions within classes and try and go over the material that you've learned. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.